I see um, strong smarter facilitation as, as a strong role as a leader in, in, in your local community. Um, you know, for our Indigenous kids, um, I think that there's a lot of schools out there and a lot of leaders out there that, that don't really, you know, push Aboriginal you know, education and, and I think a lot of schools just do little minor stuff to, to tick the box and I think by doing Stronger Smarter Leadership um, training and facilitating training that more people are being in the know and are being educated you know, and they can go back out to their communities and their schools and they can pass on the knowledge and, you know, and bring the best out of everyone. I think personally the, the way this program is going to benef you know, benefit myself is that you know, my knowledge, you know, I'm, I'm only a young fella and you know, I feel privileged to come to the facilitating program you know, at, at the age of 22 and um, you know, I've learned so much over the, you know, the last week and I think it's going to make, help me grow, it already has helped me grow and I think that um, when I get back to my community you know, I'm going to be a lot more confident and positive and you know, I'm going to get out there and actually do something and yeah, go forward. I think yeah, it's it's very important. I think you know, and, and it's all about closing the gap, you know, and you know this this stuff, you know, helps with closing the gap, you know, and people need to be educated. And I think by you know half the reason why teachers don't do a lot of you know Aboriginal education, you know, in class and whatnot is because they're not they feel uneducated about you know the culture and and whatnot. So I think things like these, you know, um, educate. You know, non-Indigenous teachers, especially, about culture, and, and it gives them the confidence that you know to teach more about it, so and be cultural aware.